Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out. Prophets on this truth of the Holy Scriptures. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahawar Chakwadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father name, who in the world ignorantly and willingly calls Jehovah. Yahweh Shai is the Son name, who in the world ignorantly and willingly calls Jesus. Bahasham means in the name, Bahawar Chakwadash means in the Holy Spirit. The way we're able to understand these prophecies and parables of the scriptures and line it up with today's events. And the way we're able to understand and do the will of the Heavenly Father in true sincerity and charity. The born us to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the holy apostles and prophets back to the reincarnation set up in these last times in the midst of this wicked, perverse, confused generation. And shalom to you, brothers, that listen and believe and fight for your salvation and labor for your salvation. Not just for yourself, but your family also. Uh, I just want to go into this quick lesson, man. It's basically uh, an update on the whole Iran attack, so-called the U.S. linked oil tankers, cargo ships. You know, the whole deal was going on. In the Gulf of Haman near the Strait of Hormuz. But basically, I'm gonna read this article. I'm gonna play a little quick video. You know, get a little more, uh, another credible source, sort of say. And I'm gonna pull out some scriptures because everything that's going on goes back to the scriptures. Everything that happens in the world, okay? Past, present, or future, it all goes back to the scriptures. It's called prophecy, okay? And it's been written. The man of the Lord has been speaking on it. Okay, and it's set. And not even just the man of the Lord, man. You got just average people speaking on it, doing lessons on it, articles on it. It's all there. And this is just an update through the spirit and power. How about your mouth shy? So, Lord willing, I'm going to read this article. Basically, it says um, this on Sputnik News. You can look it up. Type it in. It says, Iran's air defense chief, we are warning the enemy, move as far away as you can from our border. So right after the attack, the, uh, the, uh, the, the nation of Iran, they ready for um, anything that comes after it because they obviously been accused of, you know, sort of say, the attacks the torpedoes that hit the uh, U.S. linked ships in the, uh, the Gulf of, uh, near the Gulf of Haman, near the Strait of Hormuz. The Iran is being accused of that, so I'm pretty sure they're getting ready for anything that's coming after that because of the presence build up in the military east. It says, strained relation between Washington and Tehran got worse last month after the U.S. parked the carrier strike group in the Arabian Sea and built up its presence in the Middle East while accusing Iran of involvement in the sabotage of four tankers off the coast of the United Arab Emirates. You know, that's all close. The United Arab Emirates, the Gulf of Oman, the Strait of Hormuz, that's all over there, you know. And if you go into it, that's one of the, um, that's one of the main sea passages for the uh, world's um, oil, man. So it's very important, but it all go back to prophecy. Why? Because the Middle East is the Valley of Jehoshaphat, the Valley of Decision. And the Lord says he's going to gather nations in the uh, Middle East, man. Okay, and this region is over there in the Middle East. Okay, but a war is going to take place. Nuclear war is going to take place. And all this build up, all this talk, sanctions, terrors, unrighteous dealings and injuries caused by the U.S. and these other countries. The soon is going to build up and boil up, okay, and the results is going to be nuclear missile because the Lord spoke in it. Uh, and then it goes to say, oh, um, we are one in the enemy. There is no safe zone for extraterrestrial, I mean, my bad, extraterritorial military crafts in Iranian skies. Even approaching Iran, Iran's border would be met with a strong response. Thus, I advise you to move as much away from Iran's border as you can. 
And basically, hey, man, they ready. They got anti-aircraft defense system, anti-missile defense systems. They got nukes. They got military might. They got Russia behind them. Okay? But, man, hey, it goes into it. So it's saying that any act of aggression against Iran will bring regret to the enemy. So Saba Hartford boasted that the U.S. military's apparent decision to keep safe distance of 200 nautical miles from the Strait of Hormuz waterway was the result of Iran's effective deterrent capabilities. I mean, it's a good article. You know, you keep reading through it, but for the... For the time's sake, man, I'm going to go ahead and pull out some scriptures, you know. And the uh, Lord willing hope to let's be edifying. Now, when you go to the, uh, when you go to um, the book of Joel, it's going to tell you how this links up, man, through the Spirit in due time. It's Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days... And at that time, when I shall bring again the captivity, captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, okay, that is the northern, that is the southern and the northern kingdom, okay, the descendants of Jacob are the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American tribes, the, the uh, Mexicans, the Puerto Rican, the Latin-speaking tribes, so-called, and Israelites scattered amongst all nations today. That bloodline go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. These are the descendants of Jacob. This is Judah and Jerusalem, southern and northern kingdom. Okay? And through prophecy, we're waking up. We're prophesying. Doing as the Lord commanded. Verse 2 says, I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. So the Lord is bringing all these nations, man. The U.S. and all its allies. Russia and all its allies that is backing up, China and all its allies, and these Middle Eastern countries that's either siding with America and its allies or Russia and its allies, man. Okay. The, the, the minor countries siding with the major superpower countries. It says, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. Okay. The scripture says, what well, nation? Have not taken part of her spoil. Okay, that's in the book of Maccabees, man. Book of Lamentations tell you, hey, they all clap their hand at us. I'm gonna grab that real quick, man. It's all through the spirit, you know. Lamentations 2 and 15. It says, All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call perfection of beauty? The joy of the whole earth. All thy enemies open their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say we have swallowed it up. Certainly this is the day we look for. We have found. We have seen it. Hey, so they all what? Devise evil devices against the children of Judah, man. Okay, all nations. We was in captivity under these. All these nations. And they all teamed up to do some unrighteous things to us. So therefore there is a recompense. What's the recompense? Reading about it in Joel. It says the Lord is going to, um, he's going to plead <clears throat> with them there for my people, for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. So Israelites is amongst all nations. Okay. And they inhabit our land of Israel. Who in Israel, man? Heathens. Okay. Descendants of Esau, Edom. The so-called Jewish, who claim to be Jews but are not, who claim to speak our language but they don't. They speak a bastardized mixed language, which we have the pure paleo biblical language. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shab, which is their names, man. It says they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. And who done this, man? The heathens, and mainly Esau, Edom. Okay, they show you in the movies, man. Say goodbye, Uncle Tom. Okay. All the slave movies, man. They show you these things, man. Auction block selling the slaves, man. It says, yeah, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coast of uh, Palestine? 
okay, Tyree and Zidon and Palestine, the uh, Palestinians, the original ones, are so-called descendants of Ham. But the people that occupy these lands now are who? The, the so-called descendants of Abraham, man, his other sons, okay? Them Arabs, them, which is mixed people, different races mixed in one. The Ishmaelites, man, and so on and so forth. <laughs> All these people occupy that land now. Okay, but the original people are the descendants of uh, Ham. But now you have other descendants of Shem occupying these lands as well. Okay? And we come out of the bloodline of Shem as well. But the covenants, the blessings, the promise was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No other nation. Therefore, these nations know that the elites. Okay? And that's why they did what they have done to us. And that's why they ruling. Okay? That's why they got wealth, riches, and land. It says, will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that they may remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. So the Lord is going to deliver us from all lands, man. Okay, that was prophesied in the book of Jeremiah. Grab that real quick. And then I'm going uh, to play the video and finish it out. Jeremiah 16, I believe. This is Jeremiah 16, verse 14. It says, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith, the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. That was the first deliverance. And we read the book of Exodus. There's a second deliverance, and it reads, But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands where he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. So the Lord is going to put us in our land. <laughs> We're not going to get on no ship and no plane to go back over there. There ain't going to be no movement by no so-called self-proclaimed Messiah or a man that's going to take us back to our homeland as it had happened in our time. <laughs> it, 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 the Lord's going to do this, man. Not no man or no government. Okay? And it says all the lands where well, he driven us going back into the Joel. <laughs> It says, it says, um, excuse me, it says, um, I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the church of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people for all for you, how I have spoken it. Okay, so that's basically the recompense the Lord is going to return upon their own head to all these nations, man. We're going to put back in our land, we're going to rule, we're going to sell them, we're going to rule in righteousness, okay? We're going to do just as they did to us, but in righteousness. And we're going to rule him in the kingdom of the kingdom of heaven going to be on earth. But verse eight goes into the whole deal. What's going on in the um, whole Iran attack, you know, allegedly. It says, proclaim you this among the Gentiles. So this is what we proclaiming, man. OK. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Who's the mighty man of war? Let me see. I'm going to keep reading. Matter of fact, it says, Let all the mighty men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. They spend all their money in military might, man. Okay? Not in the economy or agriculture. It says, Let the weak say I'm strong. So the weak countries, the minor countries, they side with the superpowers. They've been backed by the superpowers. For example, you know, the um, the Iranians being backed by Russia, man, okay? Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Iran, okay? These countries and more is being backed by major superpowers or they're teaming up against who? The aggressor, okay? 
We know who the aggressor is, man. U.S. and its allies, man. Okay? They've been doing unrighteous dealings. These countries that suffer sanctions, attacks, unrighteous dealings from the U.S. and all its allies and their wicked policies, man. It says, assemble yourselves and come ye all ye even and gather yourself together round about. Thither, cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. So the Lord's going to cause his mighty ones to come down, man. Okay. And his mighty ones are who? The angels, man. Okay. But he's also mustering the host of the battle, man. It says in Isaiah the 13th chapter. It says Isaiah 13 and 1. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. So America is Babylon, man. It is the daughter of Babylon. This is modern Babylon. Also as it's likened unto modern Sodom and Egypt. Okay. It tells you to end the scriptures. It says, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the noble. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. Okay, the mighty ones, okay. The Lord of hosts, man, his angel. Okay, the UFO signs you see them are the chariots of the Lord. Okay, these countries, these nations, and their military might and nukes can't do nothing with the Lord of hosts, Yahweh of hosts. It says, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of kingdoms of nations gathered together. Yahweh of hosts musters the battle. So like, Yahweh of hosts musters the host of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven. Even Yahweh and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. And that's all the heathens being gathered in the Middle East when you read in the book of Joel. It says, Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, gather yourselves round about. It says, Let the, he let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So the Lord's going to judge all the heathen round about. It says, put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come, get ye down for the press is full. The fats overflow, their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. All these nations that ruled back then and had us in captivity are back today in a reincarnation standing in lots. And in the Middle East, the Lord is going to judge and plead for us, man. There's going to be nuclear war. There's going to be economic collapse. There's going to be chaos, riots, famine, pestilence, destruction. All this is going to take place and happen, man. In due time, at the appointed time, according to prophecy. It says, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their light. That's going into the, the destruction, man. That's going to take place. And the return of the Heavenly Father when the nukes block out the sun. I mean... The return of the Heavenly Father when the chariots block out the sun and also the nuclear fallout. Okay? That's how this is going to happen, man. In due time, in a succession of things. It says, The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. How that's going to happen? The nukes. And also the presence of the Lord, man. The earth is going to tremble, the mountains are going to tremble. Talks about that in the book of Habakkuk, man. It says, But Yahweh will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. Okay, so through all this, the most high is going to be our hope and our strength, man. The scripture says, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at our times, and the fear of the Lord is the strength of his treasure. That's Isaiah 33 and 6. We must believe that and hold on to that. Why? Because these things are going to happen. They're going to come to pass, man. The Lord has spoken it. Okay? And all that is a result of this, man. The attack that happened in the Middle East and Iran preparing themselves for what's to come after. Okay? And just to end it with this right here, man. You can look at this video.
Hey everybody, welcome to Alternative Media Television. I'm Chad Booksound. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please share this video. This message is extremely important and a warning to everybody in the United States of America. Two oil tankers that were linked to the United States of America have just been attacked in the Gulf of Oman, right next to the Strait of Hormuz. They're about to go through. This is one of the most important shipping lanes in the world. We've discussed it multiple, multiple times. These oil tankers have petroleum products on it and they were burning for hours. The U.S. Navy was called in to assist. Multiple dozens of people had to evacuate. This is a huge attack. Now, they don't know the exact cause, but one of the operators say that it was a torpedo. Some other people are saying that there were mines under the water and also that it could have been boats with missiles where they shoot and get away really quickly. But we know that the U.S. and all of our Western allies, including Saudi Arabia, are pointing fingers to who? To who? Iran. We know tensions have been on the rise for a while. We've seen oil tankers bombed in the past. We've seen Secretary Mike Pompeo in the Middle East. All these generals going to the Middle East saying that imminent attack is about to happen. That our interests are about to be attacked. And that's what's exactly what's happening. The mainstream media, they're getting their ducks in a row. They haven't really reported exactly what's going on. Obviously, they're discussing this with defense officials in the deep state. Donald Trump, John Bolton haven't, spe haven't spoken about this either. But, look, this is all going to be the a really hard-fought battle. This is not Iraq. This is not Afghanistan. Not at all. In the early hours of this morning, a distress signal was sent from a vessel after it was, in the words of its operator, shelled at least twice, uh, setting fire to the engine room, forcing its crew to abandon ship. We also learned that around 45 minutes later, a second ship, a Norwegian ship, was struck at least three times fairly quickly with what's been described as torpedoes. We've been seeing what? B-52 bombers, U.S. striker groups. We've been seeing uh, military personnel, troops, everything like that, going into the Middle East to prepare for something like this. Now, again... And that's what it is, man. Going into the Middle East, preparing for something like what? War. Just read about it, man. In the book of Joel, in the book of Isaiah, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, the Valley of Decisions, man. This is drive time. You just read about it, man. Okay? That's a good video to check out, man. Okay? And, um... AM TV, RT America, it gives you updates, man. Okay, because in this video, Putin Dyer's warning, anybody listening, it goes to say, like, man, ain't nobody worried about what's going on. Ain't nobody not concerned. It's being pushed to the back. Okay, it's, it's been a media blackout. It's been propaganda and lies. And they, men, women, and children need to know what's going on. That America's backing out of deals, putting sanctions and tariffs on people, man. Okay, nuclear arm race, which is going to lead to more um, global catastrophic events, man, such as what's coming. You know, but that's just a little update through the spirit of power. How about your mouth shot? Hey, World War Three is going to get real. It's going to go real thermonuclear, man. It already been kicked off. It's going to go thermonuclear, man. And all these events and attacks and alleged attacks, man, false flags and rumors of wars. It's all going to lead up in due time, man, into the word of the Lord being fulfilled. Him guiding the nations down into the valley of Jehoshaphat to judge and to plead them for their wickedness, man. Because guess what? Everybody got to pay for their sins and what they have done. Okay, and these nations got to pay for what they did to us. Two-thirds got to pay for what they did to the Lord and the prophets. Okay? And the Lord is bringing judgment upon all flesh, man. So, Lord will hold to the left. Was that a fine? You can check this video out. Check the other video out, man. You can search research articles. You can look up, you know, this article right here. You know, hey, it's all about prophecy, man. So, the Lord will hold to the left. Was that a fine? I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to you. How will Bashem Yahweh Shai for giving us his understanding, letting us know, be in the know? It's a call upon his name in troublous times and perilous times. Okay, because we ain't got to worry about nothing, man. If the Lord can be with us, who could be against us, man? He's our hope, our strength, our buckle, our shield. He's our military, man. Okay? Because we don't have no land. We don't have no military. We don't have our own government or none of that, man. But we do. Okay? 
And our government is Yahweh Bashem Al Shai and the heavenly host and the elect. 144,000, man. Just be specific. Shalom. Baba Baba.